We're fortunate to have our school housed within a, uh, an older building. So when you're in our building, you know you're in a school. It has that sort of classic schoolhouse feel. Uh, it was originally a, an all-girls Catholic high school, and you can sort of sense that when you're in the building. But over time, it's been uh, uh, improved and modernized. Uh, and in a way that retains the spirit of the old and that sensibility, that aesthetic sensibility, which I, I relate to as, as the warmth of the place, um, but have inserted into it a very modern approach to teaching. One of the things that we do is we employ a workshop model pretty much throughout the school. This has been a more recent curricular initiative than in terms of expanding and really investing fully in that model. And that model includes a variety of kinds of engagement with the teacher. So a teacher will deliver a mini lesson to the whole group and they'll give the group a chance to try it independently. Uh, they'll regroup again then they'll break into small groups where they'll work together in teams and then they'll also break into individual opportunities to, to work. What that model allows is for a lot of assessment of the individual student and how they're uh, working ind individually. And then the teacher can tune their approach uh, to what that student needs, both providing more challenge or providing additional support. So we uh, received a, a large grant, a large gift to be able to, uh, part of which was to be able to uh, renovate our classrooms and really um, spruce up our school. Uh, we saw it as an opportunity to really have an impact on student learning. So uh, we wanted to be sure that whatever we did wasn't just aesthetic, wasn't just sprucing the place up, but really translated into better instruction, better learning, better experience for our kids and teachers. My own experience teaching let me look at the room as a shell and begin to pinpoint the important features that I knew would have impact on the design, where the windows were, where the door was, and how the room was proportioned. Then my designer had said, what's happening in here and where should it go and what are the possibilities? How will people move through it? How, what are special experiences we need to build in? And then the working with the teachers put another layer right over that saying, here are the options, here are the possibilities. What do you, you're my client, what do you want to do? What do you want to have happen in here? And then I can make this suggestion so that you can see how to attain your goal. So when we got started, we arrived at a, a number of furnishing options uh, that were actually fairly traditional. So we ended up with some desks and some chairs, uh, but I was struck by the uh, disconnect between that and what we saw in all the research about what is healthy, and there's been this boom in research lately and, and talk recently about the value of standing uh, and the detriments of sitting, and it felt like we were doubling down on an old model. And so uh, we started to do a little bit more exploration and came across the Ergotron LearnFit desks. Uh, which had the advantages of being able to stand more, but also to be able to sit. And what came out of that possibility was what I've come to think of as responsive classroom design. So that we're coming up with a solution that is responsive to the needs of the students uh, and provides them with agency in their ability to decide what's the best for them in that moment. Um, students from time to time need to sit and they need to stand. And this solution really allows for the maximum flexibility in that. And that's one of the things that we really wanted to do was uh, have a design that provided as much flexibility as possible, both for the students and for the teachers. Our teachers teach in all sorts of different ways. The students are always sitting in the same place, always facing the teacher. They'll work in small groups and large groups independently um, with no desks at all, uh, depending on what the instruction demands. And so uh, the, the flexi we were looking for the most flexible solution we could find. And I think we found that in this with the, the mobility of the desks, the ability to change their height, their sort of overall footprint allowed us to create something that was really uh, responsive to the needs of the kids and teachers. The desks fitting into that flexible model of classroom instruction uh, are really well suited to that kind of environment. We started together and in this kind of integrated charrette thinking about what their goals were for teaching, what his end goal and, and their end goal was for the learning environment what I could bring to that, 
and part of what I know that I brought was actually working with the teachers very closely to put them in a different frame of mind about the room itself and what they were going to do there. Remember, they spent a lot of time in these rooms. They, they own them, own them in the best possible way because they care so much about what goes on in there. And so to give teachers a very brief but deep overview of how a designer might arrange a classroom, knowing what they're going to use it for was very liberating for some of them. Our students work in small groups frequently um, and what is nice about the uh, adjustability of the desks is that students can work together in groups, they can very easily line their desks up so that they're all evenly at the same height um, in a, a, instantly as they move into groups. So a teacher can go from a uh, a standard classroom arrangement with the teacher at the center and the students receiving instruction to moving into small groups very quickly because of their mobility and adjust them so easily to get into that uh, arrangement. We can even have students sitting and standing simultaneously and because of the stool height they can all be roughly at the same height. We had a lot of conversation about desks and tables and what's the best arrangement and again with flexibility being the, the, the watchword uh, you can very easily create a conference table out of these uh, adjustable standing desks because you just line them up in any configuration you want and they function as a table. So when we first looked for a standing desk option, um, there really weren't that many for a classroom environment. Uh, what we saw first were fixed height desks, which basically took a standard school desk and put it on tall legs um, and maybe put some casters on the bottom of that. Um, we didn't find them to be particularly aesthetically appealing, but they also were more limited in their in terms of thinking about that flexible classroom environment that we were looking at. If we think about education and educational theory, it's changing all the time. This furniture isn't free. It's expensive. It's going to be there for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years. It needs to be able over time to be repurposed for the educational approach as it changes which most furniture before could not do. So we could even, and at Alexandria Country Day, in fact, the rooms were redesigned to be less particular, less, more multifunctional in the long run, designed for flexibility and designed for a longer lifespan because it was almost like a neutral space. We don't know what the teachers in five or six or 10 years are gonna want in that room or what they're gonna wanna do there. And the goal of the school in making this big investment and in, in me for working with them was to say, here's a neutral space and it's up to the teachers and the children who are in this space for this year to personalize it, to make it their own and to use it the way they need to use it to, to learn more. So when we came across the Ergotron uh, LearnFit desk, we found an option that was streamlined, aesthetically pleasing, and flexible, uh, and incredibly mobile, which was what we really wanted to look for. The LearnFit that was purchased and installed by Alexandria Country Day is extremely durable, it's sturdy, it will be long-lasting, it can stand up to kids, and it's very, uh, it's a neutral gray, which is terrific for any classroom where there's always a lot of color and pattern. It's modular, it will fit together well with the other uh, movable tables in the classroom, and it's aesthetically very pleasing, easy to keep clean, and it will look good for a long time. We've given tours to alumni from the old uh, Catholic school and, and they comment about how much brighter and warmer the school feels than when they were here in the 60s, but that it also feels familiar. It feels like we've honored the past uh, as we move into the future.